Raycast might be the most exciting new app I've installed on my Mac in years. And I wanna show you how I use it today as a designer to just be more efficient in my work, to do some things that used to be kind of tricky that I had to use multiple apps to do, bookmark websites and everything. I can do it all in Raycast now, and it's really, really awesome. So at its core, Raycast is just an app launcher, so I can just type the name of an app and launch it. But there's a lot more it can do, a lot of it's built in, but there's also this store you can go to, and there's all these extensions, and you can install these extensions in just a couple clicks. And there's a huge list here, right? There's so many extensions. I'm gonna show you the 10 that I use as a designer to get my work done. And if that's relevant to you at all, um, hopefully these will be helpful to you as well. So <laughs> let's just jump into it uh, before this intro goes on any, on any longer. Let's just look at the good stuff. So the first one I wanna show is generate random data. So as a designer, I'm often mocking up interfaces that have people in them, addresses, phone numbers, that sort of thing. And I need to get fake data to put in there so I don't just put my name or some random thing every time. So I do go to generate random data, hit enter, and it just generates a whole bunch of random things for me, right? So tons here. Um, so I can scroll through them and you can see kind of the scroll bar. There's a lot of stuff here, but if I just type in name, I have account name, currency name, city name, like all these. Um, we could do first names, so Rod uh, Windler. Okay, that's a first name and last name. I've got a middle name, um, all sorts of things here for name. Uh, maybe I need an address, right? So here's all the addresses, street address, cool. Um, and of course, because Raycast lets you perform multiple actions, uh, you see copy to clipboard is what'll happen if I just hit enter. But if I hit command K, then I can copy that to the clipboard, I can paste it into the active app, I can pin this one, or I can refresh it. So that's actually control R. So if I just get out of here and do control R, it refreshes. Okay, I don't like that one, I don't like that one, don't like that one. Um, okay, let's say I like this one, hit enter, it's copied to my clipboard and I can paste it into whatever I want. There's so many things there, super useful. I love, love, love this one. The next one is just called Lore Mipsum, and sometimes I need to generate fake text. So let me do Lore Mipsum to generate a paragraph, or I can generate a sentence with this one. Uh, let me just do a paragraph. So it copies it to the clipboard, and if I switch over to a text editor, I can see there's some Lore Mipsum text. And what's cool is that if I go to it again and generate another paragraph, it's actually gonna be different. So it's gonna vary them a little bit. They're gonna be generally the same length, but the content will be different, so your Lore Mipsum text won't look the same every time. And then my last one in this fake data series is there's one called the office quotes and you can grab random quotes from the office uh, that you'd like to sh show up here. Um, you can search for them, filter down, but there's quite a few here if you just want something funny to put in your mockups, these work great. Then there's translation. So if I do translate, uh, we have Google Translate. So I can do translate or translate from. Translate will just use your last settings. So we'll do translate from just so you can see the whole interface. Um, basically I can type in, uh, this is a uh, fun video and it's going to translate it from English to Spanish. So there you go. Uh, that's how you'd write it in Spanish. Um, if I do uh, Norwegian, oops, there we go. It'll change it to Norwegian for me here. And yeah, um, we'll go back to Spanish because that's the translation that I most often need. Um, but I can copy the translated text to my clipboard, paste it wherever I want. Uh, this is a really super awesome extension to have installed because you don't have to go to the web to do this. You can just do it straight in Raycast. This next one is a Formula One extension. While this isn't strictly design, I think a lot of designers watching this are probably into Formula One, certainly more than a few years ago. Um, so if we uh, search for formula, uh, we have race schedule, driver standings, and constructor standings. So I can see a live update on the driver standings. I can actually go back a number of years, quite a few years actually. Um, so if I wanna know who won in 2011, I can see Sebastian Vettel won. Okay, um, if I wanna see the constructor standings right now, um, again, going back other years, there we go. And you can even find the race schedule. So if you want to know when that next race is, these times are localized to your time zone as well. So I know that the next one is Monaco at 8 a.m. my time on May 29th. Number six is an extension called Clipboard History. So if I go to just type clipboard, I can do clipboard history, hit this, and you can see a history of the things that were on my 
clipboard, obviously. Uh, so these are some of the things you've seen me copy in this video. I don't wanna go too far back so you see the actual things that I've been copying before this. Um, but all this is here, all of it's stored. I can see what application it was copied from and all that. Like this is pretty darn nice. Um, I can copy these back to my clipboard. I can paste it into, uh, I believe that's just the active app, um, pin it for later, save them, like all these things. You can clear it at any point. Uh, so nice to have this built into Raycast if you'd like. There's other apps that do this. I personally use Paste Bot, but if you want to just use it in a completely free app, Raycast has an extension for you. The next one is Render Color, and this one is awesome if you have to remember certain colors that just come up all the time, right? So we'll do Render Color here, and you can see I have three colors saved. These are our brand colors, so green, yellow, and a pink, um, and I just need these all the time. So having them here and being able to access them quickly, this is much quicker than opening a Figma document, finding the element, selecting it, copying the asset like color. This is a lot quicker. So let's say that I'm looking for I'm writing an email. Hey, our official pink color is, and I can go ahead and just copy this, paste it in, and our green is, uh, we'll go ahead and do green, paste. There you go. And they have the, exactly the ones that they need. Super quick, super easy. I have them all saved as hex. You can actually change that. Uh, so if we did like, uh, search for this. You can actually save it as an RGB value, an HSL one, or just the uh, CSS color name, whatever it is. Um, so you can copy any of those. Um, if I hit Command K and we save this as a favorite, there you go. You can see that one is saved as that. And if I paste it in here, it's going to paste that formatting. So you can save them in whatever format you happen to use at your company. Unsplash is an incredible asset for basically everyone who needs an image ever. Um, and there's an extension for Raycast that lets you access these really quickly, really easily. So I've got a circle here in Figma and basically I want to set this up as like a profile picture. So I need a picture of a person. So I could open my browser, go to Unsplash and do that. But I, in Raycast, I can just do Unsplash. I'm going to search images and I'll do a profile photo. And we should see some pictures here. My one concern is um, these are really small. Um, so I can't really see the preview. If I hit enter on them, I can load them up and pull them up here. So let's say I wanna use this one. Um, I can open the original on the web. I can open the author's page, copy to clipboard, set it as a desktop, download it, whatever. Let me just copy it to my clipboard right now. So it's downloading the image first so it can copy it. Uh, there we go. And now if I paste this into Figma, it's taken a second, but there you go. Now it's applied this uh, image to the circle. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and make it smaller. We'll duplicate it. And then let me just pull this up again. Let's do one more. Um, how's this one work? That'll work. So we'll copy this to my clipboard as well. Downloading and copying the image. Give it a second here. There we go. And if I just paste this now, that one should fill in there as well. And there you go. Now I have two profile pictures all ready to go, super easy, all through the Raycast extension. Okay, this one isn't strictly an extension you can install. I think it's built in, um, but you can run shortcuts directly from Raycast as well. So I have stand-up notes I have to write every day um, kind of at my work, and it's just a shortcut I have that triggers to launch kind of a prompt for me to fill it in and it creates a things item. What the shortcut does doesn't really matter, but I wanna show you how easy it is. Um, but basically that one's called create standup notes. Uh, so if I just type in standup, you can see create standup notes pulls up here. There's also an app that I created uh, to run it through my stream deck, not important, but basically create standup notes is here. I hit that, it runs it and here's the prompt. And basically I asked myself three things. I'm not gonna go through that whole deal here, but you can launch shortcuts from Raycast super quickly, super easily. And this last one is just to chill out. Uh, if you are just in a meeting, need to just kind of entertain yourself because the meeting's not entertaining enough, or whatever the reason, uh, we have Snake here. Um, so you can go ahead and play Snake in Raycast. Um, it doesn't save your progress or anything. It's real, and as soon as you close the window, it's gonna be done, it's gonna reset everything. Um, it's not the best version of Snake ever made. I'm not gonna say that it is, but it's a solid, fun little way to just kind of have some mindless entertainment as you're going through your day. And sometimes we all just need that, right? So uh, this is just a nice little thing that I've installed that I play every now and again. So yeah, those are 10 extensions you can use in Raycast that I think they really show how this is a useful tool to just improve your work 
And these are just design-based ones. A couple of them were a little bit of stretches, but in general, as a designer, these are useful to me. There's a whole bunch of other ones. So if I kind of go to the store, um, you can see there's Reddit search. If you want to search for things on Reddit, you can do things in Notion here. Um, there's just, there's a ton here. You can access your passwords in one password. A billion things are in this thing. And again, if I just hold down and scroll down to see like everything that's here, there's so much. So take a look at Raycast. It's a totally free download. You can get it on Mac OS. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.